Hey everybody, what's going on? Kyle Shan here, and welcome to another Saturday on Mission Otaku. As you guys know, we're talking about what we like about anime, manga, and video games. And there are a lot of different aspects that I do enjoy about it, but I'm only going to touch upon a few. And I have to agree with a lot that was said this week. The first thing I'm going to talk about is the story. The story is the most important aspect of any series because that's what attracts me to begin with. I really do like the way the stories are told in anime and manga because they're just amazing and it attracts me more than the way stories are told in the rest of the entertainment industry. Though there are examples of things out there that I really do like, it doesn't attract me as much as stories of anime and manga. So that goes to show how important a series story is to me. I also really enjoy that social commentary aspect, but it doesn't have to be present for me to really enjoy a series. An example of that is G Gundam. Now, you guys should know by now that Britt and I have totally different viewpoints on G Gundam. She doesn't like it that much because it doesn't really have a lot of that social commentary that she enjoys in the rest of the Gundam series. Though, I on the other hand, really do enjoy it because of the characters, the story, and the action involved. So. I can like a series that doesn't have social commentary, but at the same time, I can really enjoy one that is heavy in social commentary, like Death Note. You can't throw a rock without hitting an issue that has to do with social commentary. So I really do like those kinds of stories that help you think and help you relate to a character. And anime and manga really do do that a lot, and I really do enjoy that. So that's just some of the aspects of a story that I really do enjoy. Second of all, and this is kind of an added bonus the majority of the time, but I'm also going to talk about the artwork and the animation style. The majority of the time, it is just an added bonus, but there are moments when the artwork really does play a major factor. One example is I Show 21. Now, I do enjoy the story because it's about football and I really do enjoy that, but the artwork is kind of iffy for me because I really am not used to that kind of artwork. It's not some of the artwork that I generally look at. So it is kind of distracting, but at the same time, I know it's going to get better, so I'm going to give it a chance. But there are artwork styles that I thought that way, but as the story continued, I kind of just pushed that, like, that concern aside. One example of that would be Soul Eater. Same thing with Soul Taker. Both of them have crazy artwork and animation styles, but the stories are amazing, so it just adds on to that aspect. So artwork can be a hindrance or it can benefit a series. It really depends on how it's done. Next is the characters themselves. A majority of the time I can really relate to the characters and I can build this bond with them because I understand what they're going through and I can just relate on some kind of level. Some of them I'm really like, other ones I have, I can relate to them on some things, but not everything, so characters themselves can relate to me. So those are just some of the major points about anime and manga that I really do enjoy. Also, another thing about artwork that I forgot to mention, sometimes artwork can also attract me to a series. If I know nothing about it, and I randomly see some clips of it, I'm like, that looks really cool, I'm gonna check it out. So, artwork also can be an attraction to a series. So that's everything I'm going to mention for this week. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope it made sense. I don't know if it did, but hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll be back next week with our next topic, and tomorrow I'll let you know what that mission is. So have a good day, everyone. Bye!